Hi, my name is Eric Chan, and I'm a senior consultant here at Riga. Today, we will be going over the requirements to enable the table lineage, or also known as related tables feature. We'll be taking a look at the requirements needed to use it, some of the different use cases where this can be helpful, the limitations to this feature, and then we'll conclude with a walkthrough in TBM Studio. Over here, we have the Aptio release notes. This feature was released on March 2021 on client version 1.2. It allows the TBMAs or users with access to TBM Studio to take a look at the interdependencies between tables. Now for use cases. One of the primary use cases for this feature is around removing no longer used tables. Historically, it would be time consuming to understand the downstream impacts of deleting a table within TBM Studio. Instead, users would create a folder to archive those tables to remove in the future. This feature allows the user to understand if a table still has a relationship, tying it to the model, and allow the user to make the necessary configuration to safely remove it. Next use case can be as simple as learning how a table is being used within the model. With this feature, we can see the relationships and begin diving deeper to see what are those relationships and what formulas or what steps are being used to tie those tables together. Sometimes when one of our raw table changes, we may want to make sure all the related tables are updated with the formula updates as well. By understanding the relationships for the tables, we can understand the purposes for those tables a bit better. Now for limitations. This feature only shows the direct relationships between tables. That means, for example, if we have a general ledger that is appended into a pre-master or consolidated table that has budget and then map into the cost source master, we won't see the cost source master table up here when we look at the related tables for general ledger. It also does not tell you which direction the relationship is going for the tables. You won't know which table is dependent on which or what functions were being used. You will only know that there is a relationship between the two tables. Now, let's go into our demo. Throughout this demo, we will be on server version 12.9.13, client version 1.8. All right. Now we're in TBM Studio. The first thing I'm going to do is click on this wheel at the top and click on the about to display what server version that we're on and what our client version is as well. Next, we're going to select a table to review. And for this example, we're going to take a look at the general ledger table. So in the Project Explorer, I'm searching for my general ledger. The next, we want to make sure that we're clicking on the table to make sure that we've selected it. Once it's been selected, under the search bar, we're going to select Related. Now we see that our output has changed. It is now displaying all the tables that are related to our general ledger table. Here we have the Charva accounts mapping, the cost center owner mapping, and the cost source pre master. We know that there's a relationship, and now we can dive deeper to understand what is that relationship. If we look at the formulas here, at the top two formulas, we see already that they're tied to those two mapping tables. Here we can see this is the chart of accounts mapping, which is tied to that first table here. And the second formula, we have the cost center owner mapping, which is tied to our cost center owner mapping table here. 
you do not see any formulas that are tying us to the cost force premaster. So my next step is to click on the cost force premaster. And once this table has loaded, I've taken a look at the pen step. And over here on the pen step, I can see that we have our general ledger table. So now we understand that how each one of these tables are tied back to this general ledger. If we were to replace our general ledger in the future with a new source system, or we have only testing data in this general ledger and we replace it with actuals, then we would wanna make sure that we're taking a look at the related tables as well. Now, one of the limitations we discussed was around the cost source master table. If we look at the map columns here, we can see that the data in the cost source pre-master is being placed into the cost source master data. And so this is one of those limitations that we were discussing where the general ledger does not show the cost source master because there's no direct link between the two. There is, however, a link between the cost source pre-master with the cost source master data. And if we click on the cost source pre-master and select related off of this, we can see that the cost source master data appear. And so that's it for this related tables feature. To review, what we did was we clicked on a table that we wanted to see the relationships for and we selected from the dropdown and selected on related. This changes the output to display those related tables. All right, so there you have it. Thanks for joining us on the basics around the related tables feature. And I hope you found this helpful and thanks again for watching.